guys a very warm welcome to rihant online academy and here in this session we will see some of the important mcqs from data structures so if you are preparing for any itcs exam then it will help you a lot basically it is a part 3 of data structures in part 1 and part 2 we have discussed some of the important mcqs which will help you in the pace up for the subject data structure right so if you didn't watch that you can move to our data structure playlist and you can find the mcqs part 1 and part 2 session there right so let's start the very first question is what is the output of the following piece of code so here we have a code public class array public static void main string argument int array is in, uh, declared here 5 uh, the space of array is 5 means 0 1 2 3 4 at the place 0 1 is stored at the place 2 2 1 2 is stored at place 2 3 is stored at place 3 4 is stored or at place 4 5 is stored and then system dot out dot print ln array 5 so basically this is the indexing number these are basically you can say that at indexing number 0 1 is stored at indexing number 1 2 is stored at indexing number 2 3 is stored at indexing number 3 4 is stored and at indexing number 4 5 is stored right so what is at the indexing number 5 now nothing is there right so basically array index out of bound exception would be the print out we would will be the output of your prop, this piece of code when you run that on your compiler right why because it is asking the about its limitations array size is only 5 and the indexing number is only 4 up to 4 the piece of code can print but here array is 5 but at the index number 5 nothing is there it is out of the bound exception right so option c is the correct answer the next question is what is the time complexity of inserting a node in a doubly linked list right so basically doubly linked list is uh, look like that uh, header head is uh, pointing to the first node and then doubly linked list means you can either once if you are on node 1 you can move to node 2 but if you are not to you can also move on node 3 as well as you can also move on node 1 similarly if you are on node 3 then you can move on the next node that is 4 and you can also able to move to its previous node that is 2 right so basically this is a doubly linked list now if we want to add a node suppose we want to add a node here in a worst condition if you want to add the node at the last position then we have to traverse each and every element of the node right that is why we will say that the time complexity of the inserting code in a doubly linked list would be order of n because in worst case in base case we might have to add at the first so it would be time constant but here the condition is not given so we have to assume the worst case condition here which is at the last position so order of n is the right answer the next question is what data structure can be used to check if a syntax has balanced parentheses or not so it is a very popular question in a data structure and to check whether the uh, uh, syntax are uh, or you can say that where the syntax uh, has a balanced parentheses or not right so for that stack data structure is used option d is the right answer the next question is minimum number of moves which is required to solve a tower of hanai puzzle is so if you want to solve the tower of hanai puzzle then the minimum number of moves are 2 to the power n minus 1 where n is equals to number of disks n is number of disks so suppose if number of disk is 3 number of disk is 3 then 2 to the power 3 minus 1 that is 7 moves will be required to solve a tower of hanai problem when we have disk as number is a 3 right so basically if you don't know about the uh, scenario of tower of hanai then we have made a lecture on tower of hanai which is existed in our algorithm a playlist so you can search that uh, lecture on tower of hanai on uh, in our uh, algorithm playlist or you can also see it on a play card like that so you can be used to see that video so that you can get clear with that topic right so 2 to the power n minus 1 is the correct answer here the next question is to represent hierarchical relationship between elements which data structure is suitable right so to represent hierarchical relationship means in a hierarchy if you want to see a relationship 
then to represent any relationship in hierarchical manner we have to use data structure tree we have to use tree data structure because it made the relationship uh, uh, hierarchy in hierarchy very easy right because hierarchy is likewise that that this is the hierarchy you, you might have seen in your lectures you might have read it on your books different topics some hierarchies the kind of things is there right so the tree, tree data structure is best suitable to represent that right so option c is the correct answer the next question is quick sort running time depends on the selection of so basically in quick uh, quick sort basically one word is user desire which is pivot so the pivot element size or pivot elements position right so pivot elements position where we are selecting the pivot elements so it uh, completely the complexity of quick sort depends on the pivot element right so power on the size of pivot element and the position of pivot element the quick sort running time will depend right so option b is the correct answer the next question is which of the following data structure is useful in traversing a given graph by breadth first search so basically to traverse bfs to traverse in a bfs manner that is breadth first search manner q is used q data structure is that uh, which uses a level by level right so it basically measure level by level and it uses fifo mechanism means first in first out so it is best suitable for a uh, you can say that for traversing a given graph if you want to traverse bfs breadth first search right so option c is the correct answer the next question is a connected planar graph having six vertices seven edges contains how many region so basically a collect a connected planar graph is there then in connected planar graph only one formula you should have to keep in your mind when you have to uh, uh, when you have to uh, count the number of regions or edges or vertices which is n minus q plus r is equals to 2 it is a euler's formula which is very very important for your competitive exam right euler's formula is very very important for all your of your com uh, computer science exam where uh, data structure is a subject because one question might be asked from this topic right whether it is from graph theory or from data structure uh, it can be asked right so the euler formula is n minus q plus r where n is the number of edges n is number of edges and the q is equals to number of vertices uh, q is number of sorry n is the number of vertices n is the number of vertices q is the number of edges and r is equals to the region right so n the here n is vertices so six vertices are there right so six minus q q is edges so seven edges are there so seven plus r region so we have to calculate that number of regions right here is equals to 2 6 minus 7 minus 1 plus r is equals to 2 so this gives r is equals to 3 so three regions would be there right so option b is the right answer so euler's formula you have to keep in mind your mind if you want to calculate either number of vertices and edges are given then you can calculate number of regions or if uh, number of edges and region given you can you should have to calculate number of vertices or number of vertices and region name give then you might have to calculate number of edges so if any two Uh, number is given then to calculate the third number in a planar connected graph you should have to keep in your mind the euler's formula which is n minus q plus r is equals to 2 and the next question is if q is implemented using arrays what would be the worst to run time complexity of q and dq operations right so basically for q and for dq a separate pointers are existed for both of the operations right so whether to perform q or whether to perform dq we only required a constant time constant time means order of 1 right so option d is the correct answer because we only required constant time here right so order uh, option d is the right answer so thank you so much guys hope i uh, have discussed all the questions which is uh, very important for data structure are getting by you further if you have any kind of doubts or queries in any kind of mcq or the explanation uh, you can comment us and further if you have any kind of suggestions for us you can also comment that and we will try to follow that yeah thank you so much guys have a nice day jai hind jai bharat